Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. My name is Vimal Singh and in this particular video we will see how this DLP policy for endpoint looks like. So practically we'll test whatever the policy we created in our previous video from the endpoint so we will have clear understanding how actually this protection works. So let's get it started. Let's see the policy in action from the endpoints. So right now I logged in on one of the Windows uh, device which is already onboarded on Microsoft Puvio where the DLP policy which we created for endpoint is enforced. And to test it out, let's go and open the file explorer. And here we have employee background check document. Let's open this document. And here you can see at this place, this, do or this document co contains the birth date of the employee and the SSN, social security number, because these are the sensitive data as per our policy. So let's select this one and try to copy it. The moment I try to copy, it got copied. Now let's go and try to paste it in a notepad. If I'll go to this place, paste it. Now we are not able to paste it. And we got warning at this place. I mean, notification that tells you these actions are not recommended as we are using the sensitive data at this place. And this is detected as per your organization policy. Now we can dismiss this and close it. Now let's go to the file and try to print the same document. Now let's click there and click on print. Here you can see this document. Again, the policy got um, you can say in action and because we are trying to do the print. So we got the notification. It depends on what action you have set. If you remember uh, in previous video, we set the policy where if someone is going to print, they can override it also. And that's the reason we are getting take action. If I click on take action, this is how we are going to select and say allow. Once it is done, then the user would be able to print this document. Let's minimize and now try to copy this entire document from the file explorer. So I'm just copying it from here and I'll try to paste it in one of my network shared location. If I'll go to that place, paste it. Now immediately I got the information. Okay, the data loss prevention in the picture and your organization policy doesn't allow to print this. I mean, paste this document or copy this document uh, from there. But again, depends on the justification or you can say the override policy. If you have, you can click on allow and then try again. So if you have this override right, you can do that. Now, if I'll go to the documents and here we have employee data. That is one PDF file. Let's open this PDF file in a Firefox. We know what policy we have set it. As we know, this PDF file cannot be open in a Firefox because we have restricted using the browser policy. And there we are getting again notification that this is restricted as per the DLP. Now to review and see what exactly happening, if I'll go to this place here, it clearly says, okay, the action would be blocked for any PDF kind of on the Firefox. Let's dismiss it and try to open it Dropbox in the same. So we logged in on Dropbox application from the Firefox and try to upload your documents. So I'll, I'm trying to upload employee onboarding file. And here again, the DLP policy came into the picture and telling you, hey, you cannot do because this has sensitive data. We are trying to upload somewhere using this browser that we cannot do. So let's dismiss it. Let's cancel it. Now let's close it and try to open the same document with Microsoft is that we already discussed while creating the policy, the is and Google Chrome's are designed to perform the activity reason behind it has Microsoft Puvio extension. So whatever the activity is being done through that, that will get captured for auditing purpose and the Microsoft Puvio administrator can audit and then take the action if it is required to be protected. So now let's go to that place. Now we are able to open this document that PDF file in Microsoft is. Now let's go there and try to open this Dropbox from the Microsoft is and upload the document. So if I'll go to that place, select this document and try to open it. Here you can see this document got uploaded as we discussed because we are using it through the Microsoft is and it has the extension installed. All this information will get captured for Microsoft Puvio administrator. Let's close it. Now let's go and open it, open it in Google Chrome. 
And here you can see there is an extension. This extension is what Microsoft Purview extension. So whatever activity we will do from this Google Chrome, all these actions will get recorded. Let's close it and again try to upload some file from the Google Chrome. If I selected this employee background check, open it, and now we are able to do that because the extension is there. So information will get recorded and reviewed. Now, let's say we logged in on a Mac operating system and this is our one of the project, uh, you can say design uh, at this place. And we have opened it in Word application on a Microsoft, um, uh, on an Apple device, I mean Mac operating system. Let's go to the file and try to print it. And here it says, okay, you have this print option. It depends on what setting you have done. If I click here at this place, it says, hey, your organization will not allow you to print it because it has overwrite along with this uh, restrictions. So user can go to this place, provide the justification. And after that, user can print it. Now, if I'll go file and try to save as this document, and if I try to save in an external device, the USB device, and if I say save, this is not offering you the override because this policy, I mean, trying to save it in an external device doesn't have override option. D it depends again on the policy and in our policy, we restricted it. And that's the reason we are getting clear instruction that, hey, you cannot save it into USB stick. Okay. Now we have seen how the information, I mean, sensitive informations are being protected from the endpoint devices. But we also checked it out. There are a few applications where informations are going to be captured and all the activities will get captured. So being a Microsoft Purview administrator or DLP administrator, we can come to at this place. I mean, on a Microsoft Purview, under this data loss prevention, we have Activity Explorer. We will go to that place. We can filter out, filter it out as per our requirement. If you have use and you want, you are looking for a specific that you can do from here, or let's just scroll it down and you will see all the details at this place, all the activity. So someone has tried to copy the file on a cloud from where, which location, which was the user at what time, which policy is in effect, what rule got applied, everything. Now let's go and explore the detail here at this place. If you can see what activity is being done, as you can see, location was endpoint device. Parent location was this, and the file path was this. Now, if you can see, application was Microsoft is, and if you can see the platform was Windows, and what action has been taken, if you can go and check, the enforcement mode was what? Audit. So it got audited. It has not restricted. Now, the second one that you can see, file copy to the cloud. There we can see enforcement mode is audit. Now, similarly, the other one target domain was dropbox.com. And there also you can check it out what happened at this place. If I'll go location endpoint device and application was this. Similarly, if I'll go to the next, there we have enforcement mode is block file accessed by unallowed app. Now, similarly, if I'll go to the next, there we can see again file copy to the network share and that there was warning and bypass enforcement. And so on, we are having this complete detail so we can review and that will help you to make a decision where else we can enforce our policy, how we can uh, enforce the hardening on the devices. So using this, we will have the clear picture at this place. OK, so I hope you got clear idea how the endpoints will get protected. I mean, the sensitive data on endpoints, how it will get protected. So thank you so much for watching and see you in next video.